Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon and I am your host. Long time no see. I haven't uploaded a video like this since uh, it's been at least a couple of weeks now. My last three or four videos I believe have been long form interviews. I've had great guests the last couple of weeks. I've been very, very blessed to have these guys on like uh, Dean Brown and of course Bruce Garriock. It's been incredible to have them on. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We got some good reception to them. So I'm glad to see that most of you guys enjoyed those. Uh, but I'm glad that I'm back making this type of content. Uh, because we got some really interesting stuff to speak about today, especially after some comments from head coach DJ Smith on TSN 1200 today. But before we get into today's Let's Talk episode, I want to give a big shout out to you, the Sense Talk faithful, for your support. We recently passed 2,000 subscribers. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, less than a couple years ago, we had less than 1,000. Now we're past 2,000. It's an incredible accomplishment. So thank you very much for all your support. Now let's get into today's video. On TSN 1200 today, DJ Smith, the Ottawa Senator head coach, joined the radio station and dropped some really interesting tidbits. He mentioned that Tom Shabbat and Artem Zub are likely going to be paired with one another going into the season. Now that's kind of confusing because many fans, including myself, have speculated over this offseason that Artem Zub would be on the second pairing to help insulate newcomer Jake Sanderson for his first minutes in the National Hockey League. Let's remember, Jake Sanderson has not even played one minute in the National Hockey League. He hasn't played in almost a year, actually, due to injury. So, you know, you're definitely going to want to have a defensive guy to be there to help insulate Jake Sanderson, even though he has the potential to be an incredible, incredible talent. But let's say Zub goes to the second pairing to help insulate Jake Sanderson. This would pave the way for Lassie Thompson to earn a spot in Ottawa's top four. And look, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem, as Thompson's brief NHL stint last year was played primarily with Thomas Shabbat. So let's talk. Is Lassie Thompson ready to be a top four defenseman on your Ottawa Senators? During his brief stint last year in the National Hockey League, Lassie Thompson looked like a first-round pick on the cusp of making the National Hockey League. His two-way game really flourished when paired with Tom Shabbat. So let's talk about his style of play, but more importantly, let's start with his offensive abilities. Well, look, Lassie Thompson has a cannon of a shot. We all know that, but I would argue he's a better passer. Just look at this end-to-end -end pass to the best to ever do it, Tyler Ennis, last year, resulting in the brilliant goal you're seeing on your screen right now. Absolutely fantastic pass there from Lassie Thompson going through a few defenders. Now, plays like this are just the tip of the surface for Lassie Thompson's offensive abilities as he produced five assists last year in those 16 games in his brief stint in the National Hockey League. Now when on the ice, his course for percentage at even strength was above 50%, which means that the Sens were controlling puck possession way more often than not when he was on the ice, which is a very good sign for a young defenseman to be producing. Now he as well as a strong skater, which only helps his two-way game. Look, Lassie Thompson is... Not your prototypical defensive defenseman. He's a two-way guy. He has some offensive abilities, but his great skating allows him to really get back into the play and ensure that he cuts off any angles for offensive attacks. At six feet tall, 190 pounds, Lassie Thompson is not exactly the prototypical massive defenseman the Sanders love, as he's a little shorter than what the Sanders are usually looking for on the blue line. But don't be fooled. Lassie Thompson loves to throw around the body. Uh, he had 23 hits last year in his first stint to the National Hockey League. 23 hits in 16 games. He's definitely not afraid to throw around the body. Now that you know a bit more about the player that is Lassie Thompson, let's really discuss where Thompson could slot into the lineup next year. Well, let's assume that the Sanders stick with Shabbat and Zub as the first pairing going into next season. I'll have to be honest with you, it's incredibly unlikely Thompson would make the top four in this scenario. The Sens would be crazy, I mean crazy, to roll out a second pairing next year that consisted of 16 games of NHL experience total. In this scenario, it's likely Lassie Thompson is sent to Belleville to be part of a strong AHL defensive core as a guy like Travis Hamnick steps in on that RD2 role. Now look, I think in this scenario... It goes without saying the Sanders are not going to do this. They're not going to put Jake Sanderson, who's like younger than me. I'm 20. He's younger than me. And then you got Lassie Thompson, who's played 16 games in the National Hockey League, who's barely older than me. You got two guys that have less than 20 games total NHL experience. That just won't happen. But that being said, if Sanderson is struggling out of the gate, which is possible considering he's a rookie, 
coming off of a major uh, upper body injury. I could see an early to mid-season scenario in which Artem Zub is switched to the second pairing and Thompson is given a shot at the first pairing on the right side with Thomas Shabbat. And this is not as crazy as it sounds. Look, when Shabbat and Thompson were paired together last season, the duo had Corsi for percentage at even strength at 57%, which is very solid, especially for the Ottawa Sanders, which were not a good defensive team last year. That number right there is an outlier and really shows that the two play well with one another. On top of that, the two generated plus 22 shots on the ice when with one another. So they were producing offensively as well when paired with one another. So what I'm saying here basically is, look, Lassie Thompson and uh, Tom Shabbat produced fantastic defensive puck possession numbers on one of the worst puck possession teams in the National Hockey League last year, which is very good. But on top of that, plus 22 shots on goal, one on the ice when Thompson and Shabbat were paired together. And what I mean by that is they gave up 60-something or so shots on goal against, uh, you know, uh, Anton Forsberg or whatever. But offensively, they put on 87 shots on net. So they had a plus of 22 shots going into uh, any scenario when they were on the ice. So very clearly, the two can play with one another. And more importantly, they can play with one another with chemistry and offensive capabilities. While as well, having good puck possession and defensive abilities. So the two-way ability uh, when these two are paired with one another is fantastic. So the verdict is this. Lassie Thompson is more than ready to step into a top four role with the Sanders. It's more about whether or not Jake Sanderson will struggle out of the gate. If Sanderson struggles, we can absolutely see a defensive realignment. If he doesn't, well, Thompson may find himself getting more development down in Belleville, which frankly would not be a bad thing. Remember the last prospects Ottawa did this with? Yeah, that was Drake Patherson and Josh Norris. I think things will work out with Lassie Thompson no matter what happens. So besides that, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Make sure to comment and let me know what you think. Is Lassie Thompson ready for the NHL or does he need more time down in Belleville of the AHL? Let me know in the comment section down below. I really appreciate you watching this. Stay tuned on Monday here on YouTube.com slash Sense Talk. We have a massive, massive interview. A friend of the show returns. I look forward to putting that out for you guys on Monday. Besides that, thank you for watching. I appreciate your support and I will speak to you again very soon. Go Sens Go.